Welcome to Soccer As We Like It, the Man United Direction. My name is Tim Russell, your host, and today we're talking about the match between Bournemouth and Manchester United in the south coast of England. United, coming on the back of a 2-1 victory at home to Everton, needed to keep up the momentum by getting another three points again today. Uh, Bournemouth under Eddie Howe plays some good scientific fast-paced football and which showed today in the first 20 minutes. United were under the cosh, mistakes from Smallings, Lindelof, Lucio. It's like the defence was all over the place and United did not know how to attack or how to um, stop or hinder the chances and movements from uh, Bournemouth. Bournemouth were very fast, very attacking, very energetic and they were going with a lot of intensity. And United struggled to cope with the pace of the game in the first 15 minutes. United were lucky not to consider going the first five minutes. Good save from De Gea, a slip from Smalling at the wrong crucial moment and De Gea came to United's rescue. But it did not last long. Within 15 minutes, United were a goal down. A beautiful pass which split the whole of United defence and Callum Wilson. I don't know if United were trying to play him offside, but he was ahead of United's, def ahead of United's defenders and he was able to get the ball back and United were a goal down. Up to that point United were in sixes and sevens all over the place, inconsistent, poor passing. Sanchez was really, 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 really diabolical in the first half. Uh, Pogba couldn't get together but a good move from San Sanchez, that was the best thing he'd done all in the whole game, was push a good pass to Pogba and Pogba released him finding Martial and goal equaliser for United and Martial FC scoring his fifth goal in four games. Talk about a man on form, talk about a man of the moment. Anthony Martial scoring a game, easing the pressure making it 1-1 for the first half. Come in the second half, as United always do, a game of two halves. As United came back, second half with intensity, with more uh, attacking, attacking, attacking and started to push Bournemouth back with substitutes, uh, uh, Herrera came on for Fred. Uh, Fred was a bit erratic in the first half, considering wrong fouls, especially in the first half, considering a free kick just at the edge of the box, which United were able to cope with. If you're watching my video, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to hit the, the subscribe button right at the bottom, the red button there. Don't forget to share our videos and don't forget to hit your notification buttons to get our videos on a regular basis. Thanks for all the support you guys have been giving us for growing our channel. We really appreciate it. You guys are the ones who encourage us to keep making these videos and keep improving and growing our fan channel. Soccer as we like it, the Man United direction. Back to the game. Um, in the second half, with United bringing on Herrera, bringing on Rashford, United now showed more attacking prowess in reference to not sitting back and just accepting the game and just thinking, all right, we're going to manage it. No, United attacked. Uh, uh, Sanchez was uh, playing more attacking on the right. He had a shot ahead of saved. Uh, but it was the chances United were creating. Herrera missed two good chances. Lucio missed another chance. Then United bring on Lingard for Sanchez. He gets a chance. He misses it. Rashford has a chance. So United were missing chances and it was getting to a point. Are we going to regret these chances that United are not capitalizing on? Due to the fact in the, in the laws of physics and the laws of football, if you don't take your chances, you might pay the price. But as Lady Luck will have it, United kept attacking, showing intent and more intent. And there it was just that luck. No, I won't call it luck. A bit of magic from Pogba down the left. Finished, skilled, skinned his, play, his opponent. Good cross. Ball dropped up the box. And Rashford was there to pounce on it to give United the winner on the 93rd minute. Giving United all three points. But was there a lesson here? We could have scored more than goal. It, could, it, it shouldn't have been last minute goals. It could have been getting get three goals and be comfortable. But it's a United. We can't keep doing these game of two halves because there's one of these teams that might give us a game of two halves and we are not going to come back. I hope it doesn't happen but it can be possible that United don't need a goal to kick themselves. They need to always go there with intensity, fast and fury and just take these teams apart. One of our good side, don't get me wrong, it's a small stadium but United were able to adapt and cope and get the three points and that is the most important thing of the day. Uh, overall, I thought United's team play, I'll give them a 7 and 5 out, seven, 
8.5 out of 10. My man of the match, I'll give it to Pogba and uh, Ashley Young. Good free kick from Ashley Young, hit the post. So, United overall, De Gea are giving 7. Luke Shaw 6 because he was a bit slack in the first half. Uh, Ashley Young, I'm going to give him a 7.5. Lindelof and Smalling, both I'll give them 6. Um, Matic, very poor, too static, too slow. Kept missing the ball, mess, messing about, messing up the passes in the first half. I'll give him a five. Uh, Pogba seven. Um, Mata was poor today. I'll give him a six. Um, Anthony Marshall very good in the first half, quiet in the second half, but get, got us a goal. I'll give him a seven. Um, Rashford seven. He, he showed intent, scored the, the winning goal. Sanchez six, just for the hard work, but was literally poor today. Um, Herrera, I'll give him a six because he didn't have a lot of time, but he, he, he got a lot of creation going forward. Fred, five, too erratic. And uh, Jesse Lingard, I'll give him a six for his intent. But overall, team performance was good. They attacked and they attacked, just attacked and played like the United way. Our next game is on Wednesday, away to Juventus, going to meet CR7 will be waiting for us. Hopefully, we don't get beat in there. We get what we need to do, get a draw. As far as we don't lose, that's fine. Um, next game is away to the noisy neighbors at the empty hat next Sunday. Be there or be square, but soccer as we like it, the Man United Dijon, we will be there next Sunday to cover and interview the fans after the game and making and cheering and hoping and believing we do not lose to the noisy neighbors. From me, your boy Tim Russell, we are out of here. Peace, we're out. God bless and stay, stay blessed for the week. Thank you very much.